डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई डॉक्टर शिवांग पटेल एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम यू ऑल फ्रॉम चैतन्य स्टूडियो ऑफ बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वी हैव स्टार्टेड लेक्चर सीरीज इन विच वी हैव स्टार्टेड शेल प्रोग्रामिंग इन द प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू क्रिएट शेल प्रोग्रामिंग वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस वॉट इज शेल डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ शेल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू create any program in the shell in that case according to different types of shell few of the syntax modification that you have to apply very basic editor that is vi editor we have discussed in the previous session this three command mode then last line mode and the insert mode we have discussed in vi editor also we have discussed positional parameters in which we have discussed dollar 1 dollar 0 up to dollar 9 so dollar 0 that represent the file name dollar 1 that is the first argument we have created the shell program in which we are performing arithmetic operations by using creating variables as well as the positional parameters so these basic shell scripts that we have already discussed in the previous session now in today's session we are continuing with few more shell script related with some advanced features right so in today's session we are going to discuss decision making statements so whenever you are writing some condition and you are requiring to execute few of the statements based on the condition will execute and whatever the result by that particular condition so in that case you are requiring this decision making statements so in which you have to put any condition and if the condition is successfully satisfied in that case you have to execute some bunch of statements and if the statement or if the condition is not successfully executing in that case you have to execute few other bunch of statements such kind of conditions if you want to put in your shell script in that case you have to use decision making statements right so in linux operating system or in the unix operating system basically these are the different decision making statements that can be supported so in general you can say that the if statements and second one is case statements these two statements that you can use for decision making now multiple variations are there for if conditions like if statement if else then after nested if right these are the different different variations whenever you are using these statements in linux operating system mind well one thing whenever the statement starts you have to finish with the same keyword but in the reverse order say for example you are doing or you are executing that if statement then you can start your syntax with if that is the keyword and whenever your syntax will complete you have to finish with the fi that is just reverse of if condition same way another thing that is if else if so in that case you have to use if else if so not the else else that can be used in other programming language that you already aware in c or c++ or java but whenever you are using linux operating system here in the shell you are you can use elif right so if then elif then whenever this uh, whole syntax that will finished you have to end with fi that is the reverse of if another type of decision making statement that is case statements uh, so it will be completed with the help of the reverse that is esac right so these two decision making statements that we have to discuss broadly in this session and the next subsequent session right so here you can see on your screen multiple syntax if you want to execute that particular decision making statement so the first image that represent the if statement if then after the square bracket then after you have to represent any expression or you can say that the condition that you have to check then after square bracket is completed then you have to write semicolon and then after then here remember one thing this is the keyword if so you have to use as it is small letters are used as small letter capital letters are used as capital letter because they are case sensitive 
So, all the letters in if, else and phi whatever you are using they are in small letters square bracket that represent the conditions that you have to put in particular square bracket for execution right. If you do not want to put square bracket here another option that you are having that is taste command right. So, here you can see in the syntax if then after the square bracket if you do not want to put square bracket you can use test t e s t that is the command then after the expression or the condition that you want to check then after if you want to enter and then after you want to put that then in the new line it is not required the semicolon but suppose you are requiring then keyword in the same line in that case you are requiring to put semicolon right then after whatever the statements you want to execute if the condition satisfied that you have to write then after this block that can be ends with the fee that is the reverse of if right that is the very very basic syntax of if statement. Then after second one is if else now if then after the expressions here the condition will check if it is successfully executed this condition or successfully satisfied this condition in that case the then part that will be executed whatever the statements under then that will be executed. If the condition is not successfully satisfied in that case the else part will be executed and under the else part whatever the bunch of statements or block of statements that can be executed and the syntax ends with the fi. If you are not putting this fi that is the ends of this if condition in that case syntax error will appear while you are executing that particular code. Then after multiple condition you want to check in that case you can use if elif block or you can say the if else if block right. So, here you can see in the syntax if then after the condition you have to put then whatever the statements that can be executed you have to write here. Then after you want to check for another condition you can write another condition in elf that is elif then this condition will satisfy then whatever the block of statement that can be executed after elif then after at the end if all the conditions that you have checked then the else part you have to put here if no condition will satisfy in that case this else part will be executed right. So, under this else whatever the statements that can be executed if no condition will satisfy in the previous all these if and elif statements and obviously the statement or this block that will be finished with fi. Then after you can use nested if else statement. So, if within if. So, if you want to execute multiple if else statements within some particular statement in that case you can use this. So, first statement that you are using that is the outer if inside that whatever you are using that is the inner if. So, you can observe here on the screen first of all if expression if the condition satisfied then whatever the statement that you want to execute you have to write here you can write statement 1 that will be executed then after another if block that you are starting here that is the inner if block right. So, if the outer if block satisfied then and then inner if block will start executing in the inner, inner if block if the condition satisfied then and then then portion that will be executed if that inner block condition is not satisfying in that case else part will execute and then after in the outer if block if the condition is not executing then the control cannot pass into the inner if block it will directly goes out to the else part and whatever the statements after else that will be executed. So, this is all about the nested if and then after the second decision making statement that is the case statement that can be supported by the Linux that is case then after dollar variable var that is any variable that you are using to check the value then after in that is again the keyword you want to check whatever the values available in variable you have to check in all the cases available in this syntax. So, pattern 1, pattern 2 then after you are using pattern 1 and just simply one parenthesis and then after whatever the statement you want to execute that you have to write. Remember one thing each and every patterns or each and every case that must ends with double semicolon that is the syntax. If you are not putting here 
double semicolon then it will considering that the next case will be executed right and then after this statement will ends with the reverse of case that is esac so these are the basic syntax for decision making statements right now relational operators that can be used in these uh, decision making statements that you are using so you can observe here eq that is for equal then after any that is non equal gt that is greater than then lt that is less than then ge greater than or equal to le that is less than or equal to so whenever you are using if statement decision making statement you can use this relational operator right and in the case statement you can use variable value that is integer character or string so we are concluding this session in today's session we have discussed decision making statements that is if statements and its variation like simple if statement if else statement then multiple if statement you want to execute that is if else later in linux you can say that the if elif statements nested if statements and the second category that is case statements right in the next session we are discussing practicals based on this decision making statements till then keep learning thank you smart ya yahan par